Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Academy. My name is Nate from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. This little video, we're going to take a look at how I made the demos for the latest Anna 2 Progressive Trance sound bank. It's a really, really cool uh, pack of uh, sounds for Anna 2, all kind of centered around stuff like um, Tin Liquor, uh, a lot of the Silk music stuff, uh, and Juna Beats, uh, and Juna Deep kind of stuff. Um, I've actually uh, contributed a couple of uh, presets to this library as well and um, actually used a few of them on upcoming tracks that I have uh, coming up for release on my uh, forthcoming album as well. So they have pretty much been road tested and do work really well. Uh, let's take a look at the actual project. Um, I uh, tried to sort of capture a mix of a lot of those different styles that I just mentioned. Um, but also do it obviously only using Anna 2 with a few extra drum samples and some effects. And also to try and keep the processing down to a minimum where possible. There is some stuff going on here. We'll take a look at that in just a sec. Uh, let's actually just run through what we have here. The project's a little bit of a mess, uh, but we'll kind of uh, work our way through that. Um, so we've just got the drums. Uh, this is what the drums sound like without any of the Anna stuff. There's some additional effects at the bottom section here as well. Not a whole lot though, I try to get as much of the dynamics in with automation from Anna 2. 90% uh, of the automation as well is done with the uh, macro controls as well. The patches are all set up for macros. Uh, as you can see, yeah, so a lot of that is, is where the automation is coming from, either the filters or whatever. Uh, macros we have set up. Let's take a look at some of these sounds I used. The airlock pad. A bit of um, uh, this one, in this case I was using a uh, BX clean sweep for the filter just to bring that down and shape a box to do some side chaining. Let's just quickly before we carry on just take a look at the channels. You can see exactly what's going on. Uh, the drum section, there's a bit of compression and some reverb going on. Uh, most of the Anna stuff is just BX Clean Sweep instances. Uh, one or two I used an extra reverb on. A lot of Shaper Box, which is dealing with the side chaining. Uh, here we have a Pan Man, and uh, this one I think is just a. Uh, just to add a little bit of attack to one of the plucks. So nothing major, uh, and then just running through an instance of Ozone as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of these sounds. This bass line you may find familiar. Yes, in the automation here. Those little percussive bits are coming from Anna as well, uh, down here. Uh, I really love this ARP as well, sort of a Guy J inspired ARP patch. It's kind of making up the backing of most of the track. So there's some stuff that's really nice and atmospheric in here as well. I bounced a few of these down. Um, you can hear, yeah. Beautiful sound, that. That was initially coming from this channel, uh, the Bleep Machine patch. Um, <clears throat> there's an additional bass that comes in as well. That's quite a mid-range bass, that Camel Fat uh, bass, and there's a nice deep pad that comes in along with that.
some nice layered pads and there's an additional bass line that you can hear coming in now. So yeah, this is the one that we just brought out the attack slightly with the... So let's load up this second project. We'll check that one out as well and take a look at what processing and uh, sounds were used there as well. I'll be back in a sec. Right, here we go. So once again, you can see fairly minimal processing going on here. I uh, can run you through some of these. There's a few uh, Valhalla reverbs in here in addition to the Anna reverbs. Again, uh, BX Clean Sweep, some delays. Uh, pretty much no compression going on in this one at all. Just some EQ from my uh, just built-in DAW uh, EQ pan man. Uh, this channel had a little bit of compression from Zip going on, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is coming directly from Anna. Uh, again, there was a couple of external drum samples. This project's even more of a mess. It's uh, this stuff here is basically the drums. Let's take a look at the Anna stuff. Uh, it's all kind of up at the top here. Again, I bounced a few of these down just to kind of create sort of ambient loops in the background. We'll take a look at some of that. Uh, so that's the kind of uh, primary op. Let's just take a look at the sort of atmospheric stuff in the beginning here first. Beautiful, nice uh, airy pads going on. The sort of primary op that runs through this beginning section kind of reminds me a lot of Chicane called Shoreline Pluck Op. So this one, Inu bass pad, uh, I actually did the original Inu um, bass with Hive 2, but I've recreated it here for you guys. I managed to get pretty close to the one that I used in that track. Um, let's just take a listen to what it sounds like. Nice little bit of uh, legato going on that as well. It gives you this nice rubbery kind of bass. Um, you'll hear that kind of thing quite a bit in a lot of like Yotto's tracks as well. Let's take a listen to this section. Beautiful little pluck sounds going on there. So this is just a bounce lead, just sort of high string kind of sound to go with that section. Uh, I'll find the plucks and you can take a listen to these.
So this is the main melody that comes in here, just straight out of Anna. Again, uh, we're using the macros to automate the filter. So we've got an additional bass line coming in there as well. So this one, there's no EQ on the bottom, but I'm um, actually cutting out some of the lows uh, from this one with Shaper Box. And uh, that goes nicely with the main bass. Really nice pad as well. So there's a additional op coming from this. This is just one note being held down. An additional bass patch as well. Cool, and there you have it. So you can see two little demos, uh, minimal processing coming in almost entirely from Anna 2 with a few drums thrown in. Um, yeah, definitely check out this patch. Super, super cool. Uh, like I said, I've used this in my own tracks already. If you're into that kind of progressive trance and Juno sound, this one's for you. Go check it out. I'll catch you guys soon right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers.